people aren't interested in the car in these videos. People want to know, hey Dale, what's the next bit of Jaguar clothing you're wearing? Well, let me show you. Today I'm rocking a bit of a two-tone number. Ooh. <laughs> so it's a fresh from the, I'm getting really nice care packages from the Jaguar Enthusiast Club. When's the gilet coming? I don't know, but I've received a lovely, like, waffle fleece, which uh, oh. I cannot wait to wear on those Sundays when I'm with the, the club uh, events. Anyway, today's outfit. So you're thinking, hey, that's just a normal grey top. That's not exciting. Yeah, nice cut. Oh. Whoa! Look. Whoa! Got the racing stripes. Yeah, you got your piping in there. Yep. God. Another piece of fabulous clothing from the Jaguar Enthusiast Club. So thank you again for you guys for the support uh, for series. I'm sorry for ruining the culture of Jaguar. Never. Tom vs Dale. I have no idea where we are, but we've come here to visit the guys at Cage Laser. Um, so Tom's brought the Jag over. Um, so in the last episode we did all our Polyflex bushings and stuff like that. So in this episode we're going to start the, the roll cage. So we're going to get the car in, get it all measured up, and we're going to follow the process of it being kind of designed, cut, welded and painted. So yeah, enjoy. Welcome back. Like, share and subscribe. I had a whole plan to celebrate um, Sir Nicholas Cage on this video, so I want to try and get some Cage references. Because before you know it, players is going to be uh, here and gone in 60 seconds for this Tom vs Dale face-off. <laughs> You in? <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh, excuse me, sorry. I'm trying to get into my Jaguar. <laughs> Because they're racing seats, we're not worried about what's going on behind us. Oh yeah. Or about the forward. <laughs> <laughs> You're alright. Do you want to go in forward? So we've had a good walk around with Will um, around the kind of facility. Um, it's great to see what Cage Laser actually do for the kind of racing industry, kind of street cars and classic stuff. It's a real kind of wide variety. Um, they also do in-house powder cone as well, so we're going to look at some possible colours for the roll cage. Uh, probably going to go red to match the seats, uh, we're just going to see what we can do. Um, so now the car's in, we're going to start measuring up, um, get the door shut because it is cold and rainy, and uh, get to work. Jaguars, a bit of a national treasure. the uh, con air system uh, getting ready for the welding. Dale's, Dale's decided to, as we're doing a cage, 
name. Pay homage to Sir Nicholas Cage. Oh, pay homage to Nicholas Cage by making Cage jokes about top ten movies. Great. Gone over my head, mate. No, it's mine too. You just want to join the tour for a bit longer than that, if you like. Yep. was to weld it. It is welded. Is it done beautifully? No. Okay, that'd be alright. Get some paint on it. That'd be fine. <laughs> yeah. So a little disclaimer. We rocked up. Obviously we're going to start working on thing and they were like, we're going to get you doing all these things that you've just seen. So with the, the bending and the cutting, the grinding and the welding. I have never done any of these things before. No one had shown me, particularly the welding. I was sh like the easy tool things, like how to like push a machine button and stuff like that. I was shown the welding. I was not shown. So if anyone wants to comment below about how bad that was, just understand I'm not a welder or a fabricator. So it's day two of the roll cage build. So we're back down at Cage Laser with Tom who got started on the car at 7 in the morning. So we're going to be following all the processes done. I know he started with the brackets on the floor and build up from there. And uh, yeah, it's all good. Obviously you've started, that's where you started this morning, right? So that's the base yeah. kind of Do bracket. Car cardboard cut out, yep. make it to the right shape and cut out. And also yeah. the box and the weld in. I'll do the hoop first. So the hoop's like your main... Yeah, it's yeah. the hoop. I took some rough measurements so I know that it'll clear your seats and that, but yeah. I will double check the seats Seats later. are big, aren't they? They are big seats. <laughs> also, I know where the centre is, so I can just mirror it. Hopefully the hoop will come out right first time. update on what's happened so far with the roll cage so Tom has got it in he's got the kind of shape that he wants and he knows everything fits so it's just tack welded at the moment so what he's going to do while it's in the car is kind of finish the seam welding to give it that shape now if he does it outside of the car he said that it can kind of twist and turn and maybe not get in too well so we're going to get that sorted we're also going to do the harness um, mounts uh, for the seats going to get that done and then the bars for the doors as well which are going to be um, boltable so we can take them on and off so when pe different people are driving the car getting in and out just makes life a bit easier and once all that's done um, we've tested that it comes out the car we know that it comes out so we're going to get it out we've picked a red that we like and we, go red? we can go see the red and we could explain obviously um, it's going to be powder coated now if you don't know what powder coat is it's an electrically static charged paint so it goes on as a raw powder like a dust and the reason it's kind of charged is so it allows it to stick to all the various areas of a complex framework like a subframe or a roll cage um, it then goes into an oven and it's baked off and that's where the kind of magic happens it kind of turns to liquid and then hardens up as a hard durable paint so for stuff like this you get the full coverage even finish and a hard wearing paint so it's just a good all-rounder for something like a roll cage Uh, another episode done. Well, it's not done. Oh no, sorry. <laughs> so this is not the end of the episode. This is part of an existing episode. Keep on watching to find out what else happens. <laughs> um, so to recap what's happened today, um, pretty much 80% of the kind of roll cage is done. And um, they're gonna finish kind of seam welding it and getting it all 
kind of structurally finished and then it will come out of the car for powder coat and then Tom's going to pick it up, uh, I believe Thursday, for us to then start doing brakes and anything else. Yeah. Start getting it ready for paint. So it's nearly at the point where we can send it off to Colour Craft for all the pretty bits um, on the outside of the car. So Good yeah, job. exciting times. Good job, everybody. Well done, you. Thank you. Thanks, Tom. <laughs> Tom gave us a tour of Bristol as well. Yeah, it's nice, wasn't it? Yarp. Yarp. So yeah, Good. sweet. Bye. We don't have to do like, share, no, and subscribe because it's not the end of the not video. Yet. So keep watching, swipe. Well, we did a swipe. Yeah, we did. So through the magic of uh, editing, we are now at Swallows. Uh, the cage is done, the cage is in. So we've popped down to drop some bits off. And um, while we're here, we're going to look at the finished item. You've not seen cage. it yet. For I've not seen it. Genuine no. purposes, you've not seen it yet. So we've now moved into the nice posh. Oh, this is a, yeah, this is race prep. So Jaguar, yeah. Jaguar race car there. And there it is. Oh, <laughs> oh no! So. As you can see, through the window. Went for red uh, to go with the seats, um, but what there's gonna do is gonna be an arch line of red going through the car. So the calipers going over like this into the seats and then back down to the front calipers. So you just got that nice kind of uniform red. Ooh. <laughs> look at that. Oh my good Lord. That looks amazing. So the guys at Cage Laser did a fantastic job of obviously catering to what we wanted. Uh, so we wanted something that was pretty substantial, you know, when it comes to racing. Um, but also we needed to be conscious that this is also a car that needs to be driven quite a lot in and out of the unit. So because it's not just me having to suffer with this car, uh, they've made this kind of detachable. Uh, makes it easier for people to get in and out. But I don't think that's ever going to come out anyway. to check out the roll cage, and um, we thought we'd actually bring down our delivery of Shroff racing harnesses. Um, so these were a nice kind gift from the guys at Shroff um, <clears throat> to help kind of give the car that extra kind of race vibe. Um, and they're absolutely incredible, like they proper substantial gorgeous. racing harnesses. Um, so we thought let's get some more footage for you guys while we're down here and get a nice little install. the video. Yeah. Hi Tom! Hello. <laughs> the guy who um, built it didn't understand what I meant when I said I want flat out jungle gym at the front. He sort of like <laughs> was a bit of a novice, wasn't he? Yeah. <laughs> the thing is, getting in I think will be the good bit. <laughs> See? Yeah. I'm in. Rally driver. Rally driver, isn't it? <laughs> so, I'm thinking. <laughs> Ow! Oh, that was really good up until I hit my shoulder on the roof of the car. Do you reckon this could be the new challenge? Like, who can get in and out the Jaguar the quickest? I don't, I don't fit in these seats properly. I've got childbearing hips, you see. <laughs> <laughs> so that's it for another episode of Tom vs. Dale. So in this episode, we've covered the fabrication and design that goes into putting in a roll cage. Uh, we've made sure it sits nice and tight there with the seats uh, from Cobra. And then we've kind of finished this off just by kind of prepping the kind of harnesses uh, from Shroff. So there's a little bit more work that's needing to go in it, but the guys needing me down here to kind of sit in the chair and, and make sure they kind of fit nice. Um, got to do a bit more work in getting the kind of floor mount sorted and everything like that. But that's for another episode, and then you'll see the kind of finished results as we go on. So the next episode will be all about suspension. So we're going to be working with Bilstein, and we're going to show you the processes of the kind of design uh, element of going into a kind of custom suspension. So we're going to look at all the technical drawings, stuff like that, through to the manufacturing, to the testing, and then we're going to cover actually fitting them. So it's going to be a proper meaty episode for you. So look forward to that one. Thanks again for watching. Uh, make sure you like, share, and subscribe, and tap the notification bell to be notified on when the next Tom vs. Dale video is released.